morning, good morning, good morning. Hello, good morning, good morning. Beautiful friends, good morning, good morning. Good afternoon, Josie. Hello, Miss Carrie. Hi, Caitlin. Hi, Tanya. Good morning. Hi, Janet. Hi, Anna. Hi, Michelle. You're not going to be tired of me today, Anna? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <gasps> Miss Melanie. Miss Caitlin. Miss Amanda. Good morning. Glorious friends. I bring greetings from my heart to yours on this beautiful, most spectacular, sunny day. And <laughs> um, I take a moment to send you so much love, so many hugs, so much solidarity, fist bump energy, love, light, healing, joy, <laughs> party on Wayne, all the good vibes. Good morning, Linda. Good morning, Roshni. Good morning, Valerie. Um, let's take a minute to send some high fives to each other. High fives to each other and love um, and joy. And so happy to see you. Good morning, Caitlin. Good, good afternoon, Carol. Nice to see you. Yeah. Love and joy. And yeah, say hi to each other. I'm going to... Um, <gasps> You know how we get signs? Well, we just had a crane fly overhead. One of those big, tall cranes. This is like, wow. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, yeah. Love and joy and peace I send to you. Love and joy flowing through your veins. Yeah, say hi to each other. I need to put on a fan. Uno momento, por favor. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> and maybe open the window. Hold on, I'm still here. <laughs> oh, good morning, good morning, good morning. What a <laughs> what a miraculous day it is. Um, did you bring a cup of yum yum with you? Did you? I um, have this morning's leftover coffee. It is so delicious. So, um, what should we cheers? You know what? Cheers to the inner child in each of us. Cheers to our just our joy and our light and our sparkle and um, cheers to our heart lights. Cheers to our wonder, wonderment. Morning. Cheers. Cheers, 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 cheers. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, Marie. Good morning. So my friends, did you pick a word of the day today? Um, my word is quite a surprising word, actually. It's very surprising. Um, I asked Spirit to give me a word today. You know, you're in, oh, you're in cahoots with Spirit. You know that, right? Spirit is always talking to you. You don't have to say God. Um, you can say your angels. You can say your guides. You can say the ancestors. Um the nature beings, whatever you want. But you are being accompanied. You are being journeyed with. You are being carried, always. Carrie, that rhymes with you, Carrie. <laughs> um, always, always, always. So um, you can ask, Spirit. You can ask for love. You can ask for um, a word of the day. So my word today was given to me and it is ascend. I was like, wow, that's pretty cool, ascend. Um, not ascension, but ascend. And I feel like it's a conscious reminder back to Robin. Choose, 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 choose. Yeah, and you guys, let's send Carrie some light this morning. Carrie, can I say it? Let's send some love to Carrie today. I'll say that, but let me know, sweets. Um, and yeah, so share your words in the in the day today. 
Haha, <laughs> Tanya, I was like, Savior, wow, you are just being all kinds of bold this morning, girl. Um, savor is beautiful and fun is beautiful and enjoy, enjoy. And Miss Roshni, you shared a word. Let me scroll back here. Hi, Nico. Yeah, power. Giving yourself permission to be powerful. Yes, yes, yes. So Miss Carrie is receiving some platelet infusion today. So let us just take this moment. You know, it doesn't have to be hard. Miracles happen in a flash of an instant. Let's add some sparkles to those platelets now. I have been sending, of course, you know, magic vibes. And let's send some love. Um, let's, let's rock it out, okay? Yeah, while we're talking. Good morning, Denali Designs. Good morning, Artie. Nice to see you here. So keep sharing your words of the day. I love to hear. And um, I am so super stoked to share this message with you. Yes, Carol, my goodness. You go, girl. I love that word. Carol, I am so proud of you. I just, wow, you know, you are really every, you're here every single day. A lot, all of you are actually, so thank you. Um, but there is something so exciting when a friend does the practice of choosing to go beyond, even though, you know, beyond the story, beyond the, I get so fired up. And guess what? I always say that's the message today. So integrity. Mm. So good. And Carrie, look at all the sparkles and love for you. Somebody smash that like button. I TJ told me if you hold it down, all these hearts shoot out. So feel free to send some. So um, ascend. That's my word. Ascend. Each of us is in this powerful time now um, where we're having more spacious presence with our thoughts, are we not? There's a little more time in the day, is there not? <laughs> And some of us are around the peeps that are um, trigger the work for us. That's a great way to put it. They trigger the work for us. They, they um, help us do our work. And it could be a neighbor. It could be a sibling. It could be a partner, a spouse, a friend, a coworker. It could be anybody. It could be a friend on Insta, you know, whatever. So... I've been talking to you for a while now about choosing to go beyond the story. All of us have our stories, right? Yesterday I was telling, oh no, I recorded this on the podcast, Robin the Loser. For years that was her my story, you know? Um, so today is about going beyond the story. You know your stories inside and out. And I um, was being shown something. <laughs> I know. Try it, Val. It's funny. TJ taught me. I didn't know either. If you just hold it down, apparently it just goes crazy. So <laughs> good morning, Marie. Good morning, Marie. So lovely to see you here. So in our heart space, in the cells of our bodies, we carry those old stories, do we not? And they affect our energy field. They really impact us. So when we uphold the story like it's truth, just think about how it holds your cells back. And I love the word to use, retards the energy. It, it prevents the energy from really singing. So a story came to me today from the guides I thought was kind of funny. But when I was a little girl, and um, please don't, you know, let's not connect on a sad level about things. I want to share this message of joy with you and going beyond. So keep that in mind, okay? Um, I dressed myself very, as you can tell, I, I dress pretty funky no matter what. I love color. I love pattern. I love sparkles. I love, you know, to feel like myself. And so I got all dressed up for school one day. My mother was out of town for about three weeks. My stepdad was taking care of me. I'm telling you, he had had it by about day three, and I think she was gone three weeks. And my cousin, had, my aunt had sent a big bag. This was Aunt Betsy. 
um, a big bag of clothes, hand-me-down clothes. And I was so excited because my cousins were the coolest, Jill and Heidi. Heidi, are you here today? Um, anyway, <laughs> the coolest. And I wanted to be like them. They were a little bit older than me. So I get all dressed up. Best outfit ever. Still think about this outfit with so much joy. It was an ice skating outfit. <laughs> it was an, a, an ice skating outfit. Did you ever see Sunshine uh, State? Sunshine Cleaners, that movie hilarious if you need something funny and heartfelt to watch this weekend <laughs> that one so i am just like the little brassling girl in that all dressed up yeah it came with the tutu you know i had a tutu um and it had that leotard thing and i do believe it had a little a little head wrap thing so i came down I was so, like, all I needed was a wand and some wings. I was ready. And I was so in love with myself. So full of light. So full of sparkles. So full of joy. So excited, you know. I couldn't wait. And I come downstairs and go to make my breakfast, which was, I always made my own breakfast. Um, I love the instant Quaker Oats, the maple flavor only. Occasionally apples and cinnamon, but maple. And my dad comes around the corner and he goes, What the hell are you wearing? You look like an idiot. You cannot go like go back upstairs and change. Only, you know, I wasn't laughing. It was quite shocking because it was such a turnaround from how I was feeling. And this was, you know, when you're little, your parents are like God. They're the authority in your life. Think about sometimes we, this is why we have issues with the spiritual, with our spiritual posse, you know, the authority issues. So <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I, I'm an, I look like an idiot. It devastated me. It crushed me in some small way, but not, I did change. Knowing me, I kept the uh, headdress thing on or whatever, but it crushed apart that, you know, I'll say, whenever I go to do something bold and brave, these lives are so effortless for me now, but in the beginning, that idiot shows up. That energy of, it, you go away, you look ridiculous, shows up. And a lot of us, energetically speaking, that energy shoots up, and that's the moment of grace and light and healing that energy shoots up and it just wants to be released but we don't get that we gobble it back down again and make it our truth again and so a lot of you and me too you know we hold back our light we hold back our light because we tell that one story again and again and again and you know, many of us have many stories. I have meant that's just one of a bajillion stories. But I'll also say, I folded that into the batter of my experience. And so everything I made, every soul pancake I made from there was including, I look like an idiot. People are going to be mean to me when I arrive. Does that make sense? And can you relate? Just show up hands. Um... Yeah. Hi, Kathleen. Good morning. If you guys haven't picked a word for the day today, I'd love to know. Again, mine is ascend. So you expect it. How can you help yourself beyond the expectation? Because, you know, you are a spark of the divine and there is so much energy here coming for healing, coming for your joy, coming for your good, coming for your, uh, I never want to tell a story. Everyone's like, yeah, so over it, Robin, you, you know, you know, me too. My hands are in the air where, you know, how many of us are still repeating that story and what is so, yeah, thank you. What is so fascinating is I I, my eyes are seeing that world. I turn people into my dad again and again because 
um, a part of me is trying to heal the story. Now, I do feel I have worked that story, so um, that's why I shared that one. It's not, it, I don't have any lingering energy. I love my stepdad. Um, I have so much compassion how, how hard that is to suddenly be the stay-at-home parent that you never wanted to be and never were, you know? So um, <laughs> that's why I share that story. But, you know, this energy is here to be healed, to be released. And how would it be for us to not place our eyes, place our gaze, put the face of that person everywhere we go? So you have a dream, you have a vision, you want to do something. And right away, the energy, it's like the old cells, the old cells in our body, the old cells, you know, I mean like the old memories in our cells because cells keep replicating and um, what's valuable we keep. This is the Course in Miracles teaching. What we value, we keep and we value things that still create pain and um, like a canker sore, you can't stop touching with your tongue. Have you ever had that happen? You're like, wow, ow, ow. We value it and we keep it. So today is the day for us to release. So if you've been telling a story, if you have that one where, you know, yeah, Roshni, perfect example, that one right there, you know, it's a fascinating thing. As we are rising, as we are ascend, you know, as we are um, making our way fuller and, you know, clearing our energy, and claiming our birthright, which is we are children of sparks of the divine. We're meant to be here on purpose. We have a purpose. Um, it's a very different thing than saying, I'm prevented from shining because people think I'm a loser or I'm an idiot or I'm silly or, you know, this, I'm too, 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 too. And Roshi, you know, right, all of us can relate to you. And let us decide in this moment, are we willing to do a release around this? Even though, you know, it's hard. And would you, are you willing, and I know you are, to hug yourself? I'm hugging you too. I'm loving you. I'm seeing you with believing eyes and heart, with the light of the creator all around you. And, you know, some of us need to step in. To that light and claim it we need to step in we're the last one to withhold the blessing still give yourself the blessing all of you give yourself the blessing i bless little robin that girl is the rock star of my heart she is the one i talk to when i get dressed when i do my hair when i put makeup on when i um play in the garden when i'm creating these beautiful spaces around here you know sometimes i would get healing clients here in the house who would come before our thing happened um and they'd be like can you teach me how to decorate my house like this and you realize that it's not just your healing skills people are coming for, your expertise. You know, there's something about your light and your presence that is just so juicy. People need it. So be thinking about it today. And yeah, or they're sad and you're not. Yep, yep. They're depressed and you're not. They're angry and you're not. So each of us, the challenge today, the joyful, playful challenge. And remember, your posse is with you. We're going together today, right? We're stepping on the escalator and we're going up, up, up today. Um, you know, we're going up, up, up today. We are together. We're all holding hands in a rainbow line. Yeah, thank you. Um, we're holding hands in a rainbow line and, you know, making our way. So we're not alone and it doesn't have to be scary and we're free. So there we go. We're doing this work. And today, let us release. Let us step in to our glorious, light-filled, sparkle heart place because we are wanted and welcome exactly as we are. And life wants us to shine. So that story comes up for you as you go to make your move, you know, I, me too. I show up with certain, 
I can't name any names, but I show up with certain peeps for a certain video call on a certain day with certain martini night thing. And it's like the grump -a dump fest for a lot of people there. Not for Robin. Why? You know, so your, your practice is to have a joyful, playful ascension, like be on the escalator with me today and let's just play, you know? Um, but one really fascinating thing is if you make the choice to hold back your light, there is nobody, you know, I can't say, um, my dad harmed me. It happened one time, you know, that, that incident anyway, it happened one time and how many times have I revisited that harm on myself? Uh, kajillion. I made it my excuse. I'm not talking about you. I just, this is where I'm at in my practice. I made it my reason why, why I don't have to step out and shine. So I hope this feels encouraging to you and, you know, exciting for you and delightful for you. The world needs you exactly as you are. And if we keep nipping off little bits of our light, making it more packaged, more um, streamlined, more um, whatever, you know, you're really creating that harm again and again for you. So And you're the way shower. I tell you that, right? If you're here, you can bet your bippy you're a way shower. So if people give you crap, you know, Roshni, Carol, Josie, Tanya, you guys shared. If people give you crap for being who you are or they give you the stinky cheese face because you're, you're a way shower, a teacher in a way, a teacher doesn't expect um, to not have to teach, right? So like even yesterday, as I was digging in the yard, I'm doing something. I'm like, I have no idea what's happening here, but I'm building a flower wall. <laughs> the house is, there's this huge hurricane fence around um, the house that got torn down and I'm going to make something beautiful to look at. I, I'm so excited. And, you know, even that, uh, so many people are choosing to complain in the neighborhood. Why? It's one more mud puddle to play in, you know, for Robin. One more place to build a garden. One more place to be creative. So a neighbor was coming by and they were pointing at me and giving me advice about the backyard it has water in it. And, you know, they're like, you need to call the village. Now is the time. This is terrible. You know how, how it can be. And I said, you know, honestly, I said, thank you. Because I do feel this is my choice is to take the tendril of love being offered instead of hearing all the other stuff that's being said. And I said, thank you. Thank you. And then I said, I actually love my duck pond back there. I look forward to it every year for about two weeks. The ducks come and live there and, you know, I'm good. Just so you know. And they were like, wow, you know what? You are amazing. What a perspective. And I was like, just because I don't want to be upset in my heart. I don't have space in my day for that. It's not that I won't take action. You know, I do. I have. We've photographed. You know, we have taken our steps. But then it's done. The, the drawer is closed now. We don't need to keep opening it and complaining about the house being built and the hurricane fence and the flooded backyard. Do we? Do we need to keep going there every single day? I say we don't. We took action. We did our thing. So I hope something in there feels supportive today because a little bit of the Robin stories today. 
Um, yeah, yay for the ducks. You know, they're gorgeous. They could actually swim yesterday and it was so beautiful and I love it. Um, it makes me, I feel like the queen on the block, like they chose us. So for me, it's such a delight. And you know, it's very exciting to think about planting a rain garden. You know, bergamot, bergamot, my dad used to say bergamot is one of my favorite um, scents. And I love Earl Grey, it's my all time favorite tea. And that's one really amazing plant I can plant that will thrive in, in flooded backyard areas. I can't wait. That's how I feel. So, yeah, so that's where I'm at. Yes. And I love hearing your stories about it too. When you tell about the foxes, you know, it just, it lifts my heart. So we can just know this in our hearts that some stories, some grumbles will come back to us, but it's really about doing the big exhale and saying, I release this now. So, <laughs> thank you. So let's do a little healing today. I'm just looking at the clock because I have a healing session in 15 minutes. I did set the timer on the microwave in case it goes off. <laughs> so you know, because I get into this space with you and I just want to keep hugging you and you hugging me and us hugging, you know, forever and ever. I lose all track of time. I love that about me too. <laughs> I'm always just a little bit hovering beyond space and time, I think. So let's do a little healing today. If it's not for you, We'll just do this one time, two times. If you're really like, I don't, you know, do it that way. Yeah. Good morning, Paula. Thanks, Tanya. I actually have a, well, I have a, a different little cowbell here. Always good to cleanse some energy. So if you have a story, if you related to anything I shared, a few of you put it in the comments. That's fantastic. In this moment now, I call on the ancestors, the guides, the angels. I call on spirit. Let's bring in the J man, J for Jesus. Um, let's bring in the angels. Let's bring in the light. Stand with us, guide us, love us, and hear us now. We are ready. It is done. We are ready to release the stories of not being worthy, of being different, of being odd, the odd duck, the weirdo, um, to this, to that, too fat, too thin, too short, too tall, whatever our stories are, I release this now, in this moment now. I release this now. I release now. You can say this with me if you like. I release now. Any intention I hold, any decision or commitment I have made. <laughs> you just got the horn honk. <laughs> We're big on the psychic dings over here, are we not? Any decision or commitment I have made to keep my life waiting, to postpone my joy, to postpone my oh that's number one husband he's going like this out the window of the car that is so funny <laughs> i think he sees my arms in the air and he thinks i'm waving oh you guys it's the house of cuckoo cachoo over here all right let's start again i hope you're having fun with me today you know it's okay we don't have to be so freaking serious with our healing journey I release now any intention I hold, any decision or commitment I have made to keep my life waiting, to postpone my joy, to postpone my light, to postpone my thriving, to postpone my ascension. You know, I release it now. I, I, I request light and healing and blessing for every person who called us names or teased us, I forgive them now. Remember the Robin word for forgiveness is to give it up for. Give it up for love, give it up for your transformation. 
You cannot transform if you're still holding somebody under the water because they hurt you or hurt your feelings or tease you. You won't, you won't leave. You'll be right there holding on to them still. Think about it and tell me, you know, how it is for you. So I release it now and I bless them now. And I even, my gosh, even I thank them now. I thank them now. Thank you. Thank you, Dad, for calling me an idiot. Thank you for being the way you were so I could choose to go beyond, to rise above, to take my steps and understand not everybody's going to get me. And it's okay. I really need to find my own kind. You helped me. You helped me with that. I thank you. Roshni, I hope you're listening. You know, anybody who can relate, please consider thanking these peeps. So the next piece filtered through love and light and the light of spirit, the light of God. Here comes number one husband. Come say hi. <laughs> hi, everybody. In the middle of a prayer. You want to do it with me, Jeffy? Filter through God's love and light. I recall. I reclaim. <laughs> I reintegrate now. My joy. My light. My healthy Yum, 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 yum. My healthy yum, yum. I am a miracle. You are a miracle. We are so blessed. <laughs> and, yeah, loved. So, my friends, I hope you loved this time. <laughs> Thanks, honey. It's so Isn't that so special? <laughs> the surprises today. I hope you have lots of joyful surprises today. And, um, you know, I said I'm heading off to work in a bit and I, I, uh, I'll just stay here because I remember now the feed is slow. So you can hear me say goodbye. These replays are up on YouTube. Um, please share this work on, um, please share this light on with a friend who needs it today. Who doesn't have a story like that they're carrying and holding back and <laughs> thank you. Um, you know, let's help each other heal and grow. Let's encourage each other with so much love in our hearts. Um, let's do the work together, okay? Uh, you know where to find me, and I appreciate you supporting my work. There are some links in the profile. Um, share with a friend, you know. You know, I say it all the time. And thank you. Some of you have been buying my Course in Miracles courses today. Kowinky dinkily. A few of you here bought it. It's great. I hope you love the lessons. So, I love you lots and lots and lots. I do. I hope it's a magic fry yay. Yeah, thank you, Carol. Thank you for that. I really, I hope you love it. Um, I, I, I like my little spin on the lessons a lot. <laughs> and that's another place. We have to encourage ourselves to teach in the way that's right for us. Yeah. So I love you. I'm just going to pause and watch the birdies for a little bit. <laughs>